Okay, now that we have our asteroids attaching to the movie stage in the game, you can see it in the upper left hand corner, what we need to do is account for how we want them placed and how we're going to move these asteroids. And to do this, we're going to need to have a certain degree of randomness built into it. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the actions and we'll get rid of this trace statement. We don't need that any longer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say asteroid underscore MC. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Dot underscore rotation. And let's change the rotation of the asteroids and make, them ra make it random. So I'll say equals math dot random and we'll multiply it by 360 for degrees and now we should see the asteroids rotated so we should be able to see at least three. So hit control enter and you can see here now if you look closely that no longer do you see just one asteroid but you can see the other ones underneath. Okay now that we've done that we also need to set some other properties for these asteroids. So what I'll do is I'll paste that again, asteroid underscore MC, and I'll create a property for velocity x, for basically how we're going to move the x factor, and we'll also set a randomness to it. So I'll copy that, and we'll say asteroid underscore MC dot velx equals math dot random times 3 minus 2 and then I'll copy this entire line and paste it and change it to vel y for velocity y. Now on the next line to account for how we're going to move our asteroid I'm going to put ast underscore mc dot on enter frame so each asteroid will get its own on enter frame handler which will execute at whatever the frame rate is, so it'll be 65 frames per second, and what it'll do is, is it will call a function called AST capital M move. So it'll call another function called AST move, and we'll have to write this function to actually move the asteroids. The last thing I'm going to do before I leave this create asteroid function is I'm going to say AST underscore array and that was the array that we created that was going to hold all of our asteroids and I'm going to use the push method built into the array class so I'll say ast underscore array dot push and I'll push into the array ast underscore mc and so that will add each asteroid into the array I'll put a semicolon at the end and that's it. Now if I want to, we could trace asteroid underscore array and we'll see what we get here. So I'll hit control enter and you can see there's our trace statement, there's our asteroids in the upper left hand corner. They're not moving yet because we haven't written that function but you can see here, here is basically our array. It's got one element in it now it has two elements in it, and now you can see it has three elements in it. So it has asteroid one, two, and three. So each asteroid is loaded into the array, and when we traced it, that's why we got basically um, incrementing amounts of asteroids showing up into the array. Okay, so let's start moving the asteroids. And to do this, we have to create the ast or ast move function. So we'll put that here at the end of our code and we'll just go a couple lines down here and we'll say function AST capital M move open and close parentheses open curly brace and a close curly brace so there we have it function AST move and this will be our function that will move the asteroids. Now let's see if we can just use a this keyword to call them out. So I'll do a trace this and we'll hit control enter and we should see some output here to the window and you can see that when we traced the keyword this you can see that this is referring over and over again to asteroids 1, 2, and 3 that are being called multiple times per second by the on enter frame handler so this ast move function 
is being called by each asteroid because of their on-enter frame handler 65 times per second and when it was tracing you could see that the reference referred to each asteroid movie clip within the asteroid field movie clip so I think a this keyword will work nicely so we'll just say this dot underscore x because we're gonna move its x property and we're gonna remove we're going to move the asteroids y property right so we're gonna move these and we'll say plus equal plus equal and we're going to basically add to it the velocity x and the velocity y so all we have to do for that is say this dot vel x and this dot vel y now why did I use the this keyword for this well because if this refers to the asteroids and we're gonna move the X and Y property of the asteroids well this property that we created for each asteroid the vel x property the custom property that we created is also associated with this so all we have to do is reference it so now if we hit control enter you can see there goes an asteroid it's moving now one problem is it's moving off the screen so that's a little bit of a problem so also I'm going to get rid of this trace statement from this previous function here we don't need this and we need to keep these asteroids on the stage so to do that what we'll do is we'll say if this dot underscore x is greater than right open curly brace so if this dot underscore x is greater than the right bounds then this dot underscore x equals the left boundary so we once we are greater than the right side of the screen we move it to the left side of the screen and I'll just copy this copy type else and then paste else if this dot x is less than left make it equal to right I'll copy this and paste it and else if this dot y is greater than we'll say the bottom we'll set the y equal to the top and we need just need one more so then we'll say we'll copy this whole thing copy and paste and we'll say else if this dot underscore y is less than the top boundary make it equal to the bottom boundary now let's try it out we'll hit control enter and you can see there are our asteroids you can see they're flying around and they stay on the screen now we can start shooting them except we don't have any collision detection to actually break them apart also now that they're flying around on the screen if we want to we could change the color inside of these asteroids to black to make it look like the traditional game or we can design the graphics and change the movie clips however we want